Shalom one, Israel. Shalom one, part three. God damn it. Part three. God damn it. Uh, similarities can also be observed in the Indians and Israelites' priesthood. Both peoples emphasized the use of white as high, at high festivals. Both the Jews and the Indians were highly concerned about the pollution and purification. Page 219. August 1970, Cyrus H. Gorton made the startling announcement that he had found in an American stone bearing Hebrew inscriptions. To be sure, the stone had been long known. Remember we read this earlier? Having been deposited in the Smithsonian Institute in Washington by a previous archaeologist who, was fa who found it back in 1886 in a burial mound in Back Creek, Tennessee, the inscription had been photographed upside down and identified as Cherokee Indian script. Gordon pronounced this a mistake and declared that the characters were Hebrew. The inscription reads, For the land of Judah. Gordon argues that the inscription had probably been carved a thousand years before Columbus's voyage. Page 222. <sighs> okay, well, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Across before Columbus, evidence of transoceanic contact with the Americas prior to 1492. Donald Y. Gilmore and Linda S. McElroy. Quote, according to Cyrus H. Gordon, recently retired professor of Hebrew and other Oriental languages at New York University, a leading expert on the pre-Hebrew Shemitic inscriptions of Ugarit and Ebla, the inscription is in Paleo-Hebrew scripts of the 1st or 2nd centuries A.D. Although not entirely clear, it contains the word Tayahawad or uh, Tayahawada or for Judea in the Hebrew language. Page 203. <clears throat> so there's that stone again. Um, the unusual New, York, New World location at the context for a Hebrew inscription can understandably arouse suspicion. Yet, when all the evidence is weighed, the authenticity of the inscription seems more probable than not. See, it's legit, man. Don't, people try to always say, oh, it's fake. Nah, bullshit. First, Gordon is no amateur. He is an internationally renowned Near Eastern scholar among the world's most knowledgeable matters Semitic. So, when Gordon finds such enough evidence to write a book about Semitic groups in ancient America, it should not lightly be discarded. In addition to the many kinds of evidence presented by Gordon that suggests Near East arrivals in ancient America, which includes sculpted images, writings of ancient authors, coins, and inscriptions. Page 248, I think, right? 248? Yeah, 248. Quote, it was not merely a coincidence that Columbus set sail in the first transatlantic, transatlantic voyage on the very day of the expulsion. Because remember, the Amalekites got kicked out. Everybody got kicked out in 1492, man, in Spain. Everybody got kicked the fuck out. The real Hebrews went back to Africa. The rest of the Jews fled in ships over here. They all sailed over here and they conquered. They were the conquistadores. They were the Spanish and Portuguese conquistadores. They were all Jews. That's why they love fucking Christopher Columbus because he led them out of there. I have talked to fucking crypto Jews. I know that this shit is fucking, this shit's legit. It says, is it, also, it is also no coincidence that Columbus sailed south to the Canary Islands before heading westward, but returned to Spain by a northern route via a, a, the Azores. Columbus knew much about winds and currents, and he had maps. In the forefront of nautical map making and an instrumentation were the Jews of Mallorca. Columbus had useful connections as well as friends and backers who shared his concerns. Page 276. So basically, Columbus went around telling everybody that he found the fucking Israelites, the real Israelites over here in America, and they were the best at navigation and blah, 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 and all this shit. So he went down to the Canary Islands, got a bunch of them, and then came over here. Some of the American Indian tribes still preserve a part of their pre-Columbian heritage which they brought with them across the Atlantic. I had the good fortune in 1696 to witness the Green Corn Festival of the Yukai Indians in Sapulpa, Oklahoma. The detailed correspondence with the Hebrew Feast of the Tabernacles now called Sakoth or Booths cannot be accidental. Both the Old Testament Hebrew and the Yuchi, Yukai holidays are eight-day pilgrimage festivals celebrating a harvest. Page 277. Another book, Conquest of America, The Question for the question of the Other, Svetin Todorov, page 210. Hold on, give me a second, Nigga. I'm fucking getting tired. I'm tired. I'm getting tired. I'm getting tired. Uh, because of their nature, we would almost affirm that they are Jews and Hebrew people. And I believe I would not be committing a great error if I were to state this fact, considering their li their way of life, their ceremonies, their rites and superstitions, their omens and false dealings, so related to and characteristic of those of the Jews. Again. 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 Man, I don't even know. Uh, okay, we're almost done. We're almost done. Uh... 
Christopher Columbus and the participa participation of the Jews in early Spanish and Portuguese discoveries. Dr. M. Kaysinger Charles Gross, Christopher Columbus, he was also very fond of reading the Bible and the fourth book of Esdras. According to his own assertion, the incentive that compelled him to plan his discoveries was not a love of science, but his interpretation of the prophecies of Isaiah. In Portugal, Columbus earnestly conceived the idea of making maritime discoveries by the way of the West, page 15. The Library of São Pablo in Seville is Seville. The Library of São Pablo is Seville. Montesinos, who possesses the manuscripts of Luis López, the learned bishop of Quito, who was convinced that the Peruvians were of Jewish origin, page 96. Even in recent times, the Englishman Lords Kingsborough, here we go again, devoted a large fortunes to the publications of a collection of American documents. In order to prove the Jewish origins of the Americans, it is not improbable that the Jews who were driven out from Nineveh by Salmanazar wandered unto uninhabited regions. According to Herrera, another guy, the Indians cherished the traditions that Yucatan had been settled by tribes from the Orient. Some writers give the exact route by which the Jews traveled until they settled Cuba. Or page 97. And that's what we got, Israel. Um, actually, you know what? I, I accidentally skipped over something. I, I wanted to read because I think I read it out of the book. But um, but the book I didn't have the page of something that I wanted to share. Um, hold on. Oh oh, that's why I, I fucked up. Uh, okay okay, look. So this is this is from the history of the American Indians from James Adair. Okay, same thing. If you go, you could go read it on the Encyclopedia of Alabama dot org. You could find the book. Um, on page twelve and thirteen, it says. Some have supposed the Americans to be descended from the Chinese, but neither their religion, laws, or customs agree to the least in those of the Chinese, which sufficiently proves they are not of that line. So not only does blood say that, but also the 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 damn customs, man, everything. Besides, as our best, so blah, 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 he says, it's hard to sail. It says, look, look, neither could persons fail to failed to America from the north by the way of Tartary or ancient Scythia because remember the ancient Scythians those were the Ch that, which they say you know Josephus and everybody says the Scythians are from Japheth man the ancient Japheth are Chinese the Chinese people are Japheth the Asians are fucking Japheth I'm sorry dude it means multitude there's a shitload of fucking Asian people man that's who they were the original inhabitants of Europe were Asian they got fucking assimilated and pushed out that's why a lot of Europeans have some type of melanin or whatever they were known in fucking oh my god they were known in Greece as the Ionians they were known in Latin as the Lat or in, in, in Italy as the Latins they were known as the original inhabitants of everywhere they were the Chinese people man and then they got pushed out they got mixed out they got all that shit and now they just live in China Korea and all that bullshit but they are the Scythians and we are not from them that from its situation never was or can be a maritime power. Look, the remaining traces of their religious ceremonies and civil and marital customs are quite opposite to the like vestiges of the old Scythians. They're not like the old Scythians or the Chinese people. Nor even in the moderate northern climates is it to be seen the least vestige of any ancient stately buildings or of any thick settlements as are to said to remain in the less healthy regions of Peru and Mexico. Several of the Indian nations assure us that they crossed the Mississippi before they made their present northern settlement. So they migrated from the south to the north, which connected with the former arguments will sufficiently explode, sufficiently explode that weak opinion of the American Aborigines being linearly descended from the Tartars or ancient Scythians. So get the fuck out. Get the, see the door over there? Get the fuck out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it. I don't want to hear nothing about no DNA anymore. I don't want to hear nothing about no fucking uh, bullshit natives or Chinese people or fucking Canaanites and all this. You see, that's dumb. See, first off, we read all this shit talking about how, uh, you know, they're not, they're not uh, uh, Scythians. They're not Chinese people. Um, and the blood shows it. Everything shows it. So they're not Chinese people. Okay, so this is my question. So now I've shown sufficient evidence uh, proving, in fact, you know what? Just because I said I was going to show it. You want to see some natives with dreadlock? Look. Nazarite vow. Native. They don't look like fucking Chinese people. This is what Chinese people... Have you ever seen... Has any of you even ever seen 
what a Chinese person look like. You guys must not know what Chinese people look like. This is what Chinese people look like. Anime. See that? See see how they're all you know? Sorry, but they're funny looking. You know what I mean? See see the, these are Chinese people. A wide variety of Chinese people. They do not look like this. Look at this. Look at this brother. They don't look like no Chinaman. Look at dreads. Look at this guy. This is a, this is a native uh, um, chief of the Mojave, man. He was a chief. They captured his ass and they put him in the garb. Look. Look at that. This is an Indian chief, man, with locks, man. He got kind of looks like my fucking pops, yo. So my pops is a mix of Negro and uh, and native, and that's what my pops is. My pops look like this. Look at this. More locks. More locks. So get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here with your shit. And then look, because I hear, you know, oh, natives can't grow beards. You know, can't grow beards. No, nah, bullshit. Look. I see a beard. I see a beard. I know it's hard to see on here. But look, beard. This guy looks like my grandpa, man. Look, beard, beard, beard. See, it's not the fact because all of you, I'm gonna bring this out in the later videos and stuff. It's not the fact that they couldn't grow, they can't grow beards. It's the fact that they got smitten. They got smitten with the curse. Our people are smitten with the curse on their head, so they can't grow their fucking hair right like they used to. Not only that, but they brought that curse upon themselves because they used to pluck their hairs off their faces. If you actually do some fucking research instead of sitting on your ass twiddling your thumbs, if you actually did research, you would find out that the natives used to pluck their beard hairs. They used to pluck their hair out of their face because they picked up pagan customs from the Danites. So they started plucking their hairs off their faces, and then it got even worse when the damn Europeans got here, when the Amalekites got here because they didn't want to look like the Amalekites at all. They didn't want to be associated with those devils. So what they did is they shaved their faces and they took their faces. They, they didn't want to look like them. And through all of that, generation after generation, now some of them, uh, they say can't grow faces, which is bullshit. They can grow faces, they just don't. They don't rock it, man. They don't rock it. Um, let's see what else. Yeah, we're done with that. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're dumb. Oh, I guess I could pull up a few pics. Um, but you guys are dumb. So, like, look. So, they're not Chinese people. So, let's get the fuck over the mongoloid thing. I already destroyed the DNA thing. I destroyed your science. Uh, I showed books showing that there's no way they could be fucking related to the Chinese people. In fact, here's another motherfucking book that I didn't even bust out. The Medieval Empire of the Israelites by Robert Grisham and Vladimir M whatever Melamed. Um, look. First off, they show the Chinese to be Hebrews. Look, carrying the Ark of the Covenant and all that shit. Like I said, I'm going to do a Chinese one. Uh, I mean, sorry, not Chinese. Japanese. Forgive me. Japanese. Look. Israelites. Natives. Ecuador. See? Ecuador. I know it's hard to read, but they, they talk about it in here too. So that's another damn book. Um, there's Literary Digest. Look, I have this thing. Uh, I'm going to try to read this off real quick. Look. Literary Digest, September 21st, 1912. Are the Indians of Hebrew origin? William Penn gave the clue to many subsequent biblical scholars in declaring that he had found in the American Indians the lost tribes of Israel. The superficial resemblance between the two peoples was so striking that he was led to say, quote, When I look at their children, I imagine myself in the Jewish quarter of London. The Reverend J. Wellesley Anas says in Zion's Herald, Boston, that as late as 1889, a well-informed a representative of the Moskoki tribe. Well, let me reposition myself because I'm comfortable again. The Moskoki tribe, when questioned concerning the legends of the people, replied, quote, they are all in the Old Testament. So these Moskoki people are like, you want to know our history? Go to the Old Testament. Read them there without the trouble of taking them down from our people. So that was some sarcastic. Like, you know, fucking don't bother asking us. Go back to the book that you guys bought from us. Remember we read in another book? They purchased our books from us. They took our books from us. Corroborative of this statement is Dr. W. W. Warren in his history of the o o o Weeb uh, Ojibwe nation that is in response to the parts of the Bible which he translated for this people. They said, so he translated the Bible for these people and they said, quote, the book must be true for our ancestors have told us the same stories for generations. 
The theory here presented is not new. The Jewish encyclopedia giving the substance of it without pronouncing upon its credibility. So see, like I showed you, even the damn Jewish encyclopedia had a big ass article and all kinds of shit on it, yet they won't confirm it. They'll say it and they'll bring it all out, but they will never confirm it. It says, um, the writer meets the objection to the theory based on the great distance between the inhabitants of the two peoples by citing the second book of Ezra. So the reason, the way they got here is by Ezra's. They affirm that after the captivity, the Hebrews resolved to separate themselves from the heathen and to seek a spot where they might righteous, religiously observe the law for the violation of which they had been so severely punished. Accordingly, the reports them to have migrated to a country which was uninhabited as so far distant that they journeyed for a year and a half or even more. This theory is further supported by the writings of the famous Manasseh ben Israel, who tells us that America and Asia, now separated by the Bering Strait, were formerly one continent, and that during this early period, the Hebrews penetrated to the Americas by land. So see, they keep trying to push this Bering Strait shit, but we know it's bullshit. Adding to this to these statements, the fact that, uh, uh, that what the fuck does that say? Oh, the native, uh, the Indian legend. Sorry, the word the is kind of messed up in the article itself. Um... Okay, so like I said, man, like they keep trying to push this Bering Strait. And it's funny because even though they do say that they're from the Bering Strait, they still say they're Israelite. So you guys are fucking stupid. All affirm that their ancestors came into the country from the northwest, and we seem that three connection links in the chain of our evidence. See, they say northwest, but it's bullshit because we read they themselves said the northeast, so they came from the east. Still more conclusive proof is found in the comparative study of the languages, religions, customs, traditions of the two peoples. Such resemblance are these noted. Like the Hebrews, the Indians were first visited by the Europeans, who were a very religious people, yet they had entirely escaped the idolatry which was common to almost all ancient peoples. But that's not entirely true because they were uh, going off somewhat. That's the whole reason why the conquistadors were sent to them. They were going off because of the Danites. They acknowledged but one God, the Great Spirit, and the name by which he was known was Ale, the old Hebrew name for God, or Allah. In their dances, they were heard to say distinctly, Halalau Yah, the praise to Yah the very word which was used by the Hebrews themselves. They kept the annual feasts which resembled those of the Mosaic ritual. They performed morning and evening sacrifices and offered their first fruits to God. They practiced the rite of circumcision and celebrated a feast like the tabernacles. They had cities of refuge to which even a murderer might flee and be safe. So see, we had cities of refuge. We had high priests. I'm telling you, man, there was Levites amongst the northern tribes. There are tribes of the northern tribes. When they get returned, after Judah gets returned, there's going to be the second return of the northern tribes. And when they get returned, it's going to be said to them, some of them are going to be made priests and Levites. And because they didn't know that they were priests and Levites, because the Levites, even though a majority of them went back to the southern tribes, some of them stayed. We didn't all, we weren't all just piled up in one shit, you know? Um... Let's see. The Indians reckoned time in the same manner of the Hebrews. Their year began the same season. The same superstitions seemed to have marked their burial places. The same creeds uh, were the rule of their lives, both as to the present and the future. The Indians, as well as the ancient Hebrews, lived in tribes ruled by a chief, and their forms of government were almost identical. The clan system of the Indians has preserved a clue to some of the mysterious rites of the early Hebrews. So, in fact, that right there, they were able to, to the Jews, because remember, they didn't know all our shit because they converted and stole all our things. They didn't know. Some of those things, some of the rites were mysteries to them. But what is now known about the clan system of the Uruquois explains what was formerly mystical about the tribes of Israel. So they learned from the Uruquois what was previously myst a mystery to them. So, but coming here, they learned their thing. <laughs> oh, get the fuck out. Each tribe had a totem. I'm going to link this in with the scriptures. There's a scripture that where the totem poles come from. It is actually a sign to prove that they are Israel. If you see people using totem poles, they are Israelites. Sorry, but that's what it fucking is, man. And I'm going to be bringing the scriptures out later to prove so. They had totem poles, usually some animals such as a deer, a bear, or a panther. So also had the Israelites such a totem. And this explains why in the blessings of Jacob upon his sons, Judah is surnamed a lion, Dan a serpent, like I said, Benjamin a wolf, and Joseph a bow. See, this is, and you could read that story. You know what, I'm just going to get it off. and You could go read it, you damn selves. Oh, shit, it's in the, my other notebook. Uh, it's in, it's in the story of the totem poles. I'm going to break it down. I'm going to break it down real hard. But just so you know, if you guys want to go read it yourselves, wherever you think I'm full of shit, uh, you could go to Joshua chapter 22. 
Joshua chapter 22, verses 21. I would suggest reading the whole thing, but 21 through 29 or 30. Uh, yeah, so read that, 21, 22, 21 through 30. Read that. It talks about the totem poles, man. It was a sign. It was a sign so that the other tribes of Israel wouldn't be like, oh, you guys aren't Israelites. And that's exactly what's fucking happening, man. It's crazy. It's crazy how much our history is repeating. But y'all niggas is too fucking stupid and hard-headed and simple-minded that you can't fucking see it. Our people are blinded. We're deaf, dumb, and blind like Judah Nass says, man. We're fucking retards. All of us. Fucking retards, man. Um, look, for all you people, it's, oh, no, no, they don't. The old Domex, they're a Negro. Yeah, well, look at that. Look, where's my pointer? Look, these are old Olmec King statue. Look at, look at, look at, look, Olmec descendants. These are the same fucking people, yo. There was no Asian migration. There was no Asian migration. There's no records. There's no nothing. You cannot show me anywhere where a large shit ton of Asians came to the Americas. You fucking can't. You can't. So fucking stop it already. So, you know, I think I've sufficiently destroyed the hell out of the, uh, you know, natives are Asian thing. <laughs> so you got to ask yourself, okay, if natives aren't Asian and, you know, you guys refuse to say that they're Israelites, well, then who are they? Now, another leading uh, um, theory is that the natives are Canaanites. Oh, they're Canaanites. They're Hittites, man. They're Hittites. 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 I've never heard the word Hittite more in my life. Um, so now, to stomp that out, we got the book In the Footsteps of Our Ancestors. Wazayatawan. Wazayatawan, basically. Angela Wilson. <laughs> slave name um okay so in this book i know it's kind of hard to see let me let me see if we could uh blow it up a little bit hold on hold on oh yeah okay i'm gonna show you where the hittite thing came from um the nazi parallel has already been discussed above the reference but the reference to Christianity is worth exploring in more depth. In regard to the Bible and genocide, one needs to only look at the Old Testament. It says, look, because they try to, you know, because basically, I'm just going to break it down. Like, look, it's jump to the point. The preceding verses and many others provided a biblical rationale for invading, killing, stealing, occupying, and oppressing indigenous peoples here in the United States and in Minnesota. Such verses, especially those that talk about the chosen people promised land notion, form the basis for manifest destiny, a concept that Euro-Americans used to justify stealing native lands and killing native peoples because they claimed that they were just godless, the native peoples were godless Hittites. That See, look, the Hittites and other such verses were then used to, by the Euro-Americans to take the land and kill the Dakota people and other native peoples, the godless Hittites. So this is the origin of the damn, oh, they own the natives are Hittites, man. They're Canaanites. The whole fucking, the, where that came from was manifest destiny, man. They're just like, oh, well, it's just, you know, we're the Israelites. We're like the Israelites coming to conquer the new land. These guys must be Canaanites, right? That's what Lexwell says, right? Oh, the Canaanite were Israelites. Canaanites are. No bullshit. Canaanites were in the fucking land. We kicked them the hell out and they went back to Africa. Canaanites are Africans. Canaanites are no one else but Africans. Get the fuck out, dude. That makes no sense. That makes no sense. I've heard Lexwell say he pulls out this stupid ass definition for Ham, which I don't even know where the fuck he gets it from because he doesn't even say himself. One definition. One definition. I have fucking over 15. Dude, I have a fuck. Where the hell is my thing? Look, I'm going to do a lesson on it. But just to show you, I'm not full of shit. Look at this. He One definition showing that ham is, is white people and Chinese people and black people and natives and that they have curly or wavy hair and shit like that. That's his whole basis for Canaanites is if blacks have wavy hair, they're not Canaanites. What kind of madness is that? What kind of madness? Look, Canaanites, 
versus Israel. These are all Canaan. These are all look. These are all websites showing that the Canaanites fucking are Africans, man. That they went back to Africa. I have all that shit, man. I'm about to smash it. Like, what the fuck is your problem, dude? What? What? It's. It makes no sense. Like I said, think back. Th really think about it for a second. Let me let me pause up and, and think about it for a second. Let's, let us reflect. We already know that they can't be Chinese people. I smash that out. If you still want to go with that, you're fucking stupid. Um, now, the only other people that you could really legitimately honestly say they are, because they're not Edomites. That's for damn sure. So the only people that you could honest, honestly legitimately say they are are Canaanites. But that's impossible because if you use fucking common sense, the Canaanites are related to the to the the Egyptians and the Ethiopians and the fucking Libyans, dude. Meaning they're all African peoples. They are all black African peoples. Maybe the Canaanites got cursed with leprosy and now they're white. Who fucking you know? I've got some shit showing that too. Maybe some of them. Maybe not all of them. I don't fucking know. But they're sure as hell not Chinese people. They're sure as hell not fucking uh, uh, natives. Like, come on, man. Lexwell tries to go to the Genesis 9 where it says that Canaan would be a servant of servants. Yeah, a servant of servants, fucking retard. Not a servant with servants. Because that's, that's what he tries to say. Oh, the native, because we serve together. The natives and the fucking, and the blacks serve together. It is in Jeremiah 50, man. We, we were holocausted, man. The North American Indians... We're fucking killed inside this book, which is from motherfucking Harvard, or I'm sorry, Oxford, Oxford motherfucking university. This book has pictures of the natives and they aren't, you know, so-called Negro, as you guys like to say, which actually I got some shit on that I'm about to show you. But look, they have pictures of the natives in here and they look like they do now. Well, I mean, they don't look how they, how they used to now though, because remember there's the scripture in Isaiah 53, which everybody likes to go with Jesus, right? Well, Isaiah 53 says our visage is scarred more than any other man's, meaning we don't fucking look like how we used to, bro. That's a native from New Mexico. That's where I'm. That's where I live, boy. And that's what they looks like. These are not Canaanites, yo. This chick looks Ethiopian, yeah. But that's because well, there's a scripture that says we look Ethiopian. But we are not. We'd had no customs the same as the Ethiopian. None of that shit. Totally different. Like I said, you gotta think common sense. Ethiopians, the, the, the Canaanites are Africans. That's one of the, you guys are so stupid. That's one of the main arguments against the tribes, against the northern tribes. Oh, they don't, you know, they don't look Negro. They don't look Negro. Really? Because then how the fuck could they be Canaanites? Because the Canaanites, you know, that's your excuse. Oh, well, because blacks look like Ethiopians and the and natives don't. Well, that's fucking stupid dude because then how the hell could they be Canaanites because then that would mean they would have to look like the African do you get what I'm saying man like do you see how stupid this shit is like I got a headache talking about this shit because it's so fucking stupid like I don't even know how people let this shit creep up in their brains you know why it's because you're not in the fucking temple you're not in the Torah tabernacle you're just dicking off somewhere fucking Jesus land still or some shit you still got some type of veil over your eyes or something man and you, you're not thinking common sense bro they're not Canaanites, dude. Canaanites are fucking Africans, and they've been in Africa since Joshua kicked them out. There's even stones in Africa that say, hey, Joshua kicked us out, so we came here. What the fuck? What? 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 This goes along with Lexwell bitching about his whole, oh, oh America's really Israel. No, how in the hell? You see, this is why. Fuck Lexwell, dude. Straight the fuck up. Fuck Lexwell and fuck anybody that fucking supports that asshole and that likes that asshole. Sorry, dude. You could get hurt with me all you want, but fuck him. You know why? Because he's stupid as hell. And if you believe what he fucking says, then you're fucking stupid too. Straight the fuck up. How the hell are you going to tell me America or uh, South America is the real holy land? That's fucking retarded, dude. That's fucking retarded. This Lexwell says that we left Egypt and it took 40 years for us to migrate to the eastern China. And then the, the Jordan River is really uh, the Pacific Ocean. And Joshua split it and we crossed over to the where the Canaanites were. And we conquered the Canaanites in America. You stupid motherfucker. Moses died in the plains of Moab. You piece of shit. Moses got to see the fucking holy land from the tops of the plains of Moab, you stupid motherfucker. Oh, you telling me he saw America from China? 
Did you tell me that what do you tell me Moab is in China? Are you pulling some fucking camp shit? All Moabites and Ammonites are Chinese and Japanese. No. no see and that even goes against your shit because you say the Chinese are fucking Canaanites. Do you see the stupidity in your own fuck do you even think about what you say before the words come out your fucking mouth? Of course not you do, you don't, you fucking retard. Fuck Lexwell, dude. Fuck Lexwell. How the hell are you going to tell me that America's the land when Moses died and he got buried in the plains of Moab? So you tell me that they migrated 40 years to the eastern China and then went all the way back to the plains of Moab to bury Moses? Fuck you, dude. Fuck you. Get the hell out of here with that shit. Fuck Lexwell. That's the dumbest ass motherfucker I've ever met in my life the hell out of that shit blacks that have wavy hair you know what that shit is that just shows that lex was a hurt little bitch he was in gocc and he got fucking butt hurt because he spent all kinds of money and time with those assholes and then he realized he got screwed and now he's just all fucking bitter but he still uses the same name they use what just because you don't add a uh at the beginning of haya you don't think it's the same shit you dumbass motherfucker why don't you actually go learn some hebrew before you go start teaching people you dumb piece of shit but i smack you in your fucking mouth how about that shit how about you get a plane ticket to New Mexico and fucking smack in your mouth? How about that shit? Instead of going to the Pope. Who the fuck cares about no Pope, man? He's a little bitch fucking clown uh, 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 pawn anyways, dude. He ain't even the head shit and you're running to the Pope? You sound like fucking Paul, bro. Running to Caesar and shit. That's what you get when you fucking... Aw, oh, man, don't even... Get the fuck out of here, man, with that pussy-ass fucking faggot shit, man. What the hell is that, Israel? Uh, South America is the land of Israel. Shut the fuck up, man. That would throw all prophecy off. Don't you people realize that? If you were to go around changing everything like this motherfucker is, that would throw prophecy and everything way off, dude. Dude, does anybody not realize that? No, of course not, because you guys don't even fucking give a shit about prophecy, do you? You just like sensationalism. You like when a nigga comes out and says some radical ass shit, some crazy ass shit that you never fucking heard before, and you gobble it up. You're like, oh, I've never heard it before, so it must be true. No, fuck no, bro. That's some dumb shit. That's some fucking, nah, man. But what Chinese people are Canaanite? Get the fuck out of here, man. And then this dude's speaking out against Hebrews that have a, a red hue. That, that it, unless you're a gray black, you're not an Israelite. What the fuck kind of shit is that, man? We all have a goddamn red who, man. Adam means fucking ruddy. That's the earth. We all come from the red earth. We all have, we all show blood in the face, dude. Africans are fucking red too. They're just like so dark that they're purple. Esau's just Adawam, ultimately red. But everybody has some type of red in them, you douche. And then to go off saying that people with wavy hair, so-called wavy hair, aren't fucking Hebrews. How retarded is that? That just shows because you could even hear it himself. He's like, oh, well, when I was a kid, you you know, in the black communities, you could, you know, you everyone knew who, who had wavy hair. And, and I could never get wavy hair. So that's the only reason why he brings up that wavy hair shit is because, you know, this nigga got made fun of by when he was a kid by all kinds of people. And he got picked on because he was a little bitch. And now he's all bitter and he hates anyone that has wavy hair. Straight the fuck up, bro. That's what it is. Israel comes in multi-textured hair fucking thing. Where's this whole, uh, uh, where the hell did this whole, oh, that they all have fucking bushy hair. They all have go uh, sheep's hair. They all have woolly hair. No, bro. Haven't you ever read the songs of Solomon? His wife had goat's hair. Do you know what goats look like, you stupid motherfuckers? Thick, long, dark black hair like the natives, you piece of shit. Goat's hair and sheep's hair. That is the hair textures of Israel. Sh goat's hair and sheep's hair. And they all come in different shapes and sizes, man. Oh, but none of you would even know any of that shit because y'all motherfucking retards. Like, come on, man. Really, Israel? Are we really this far behind? I shouldn't even be having to do any of this shit. I should be doing temple... Torah tabernacle uh, teachings like Brother Judah Naz, man, helping him out and bringing out that real truth, breaking down that Hebrew. But no, I gotta go back and do some remedial ass shit because you guys are too fucking stupid to do some research yourselves. Look at this. Another book. Native American has cities of refuge. American Zion. You can read this shit. I don't give a fuck. I don't need these books, man. Y'all motherfuckers need these books because y'all are simple. You don't, you don't trust the words of the Most High. That's the whole problem. You don't trust the words of Yah. You trust the words of Esau, man. You trust the words of the fucking Amalekites, man. With their science. With their protocols of 
the learned elders of Zion, their theories, man. Get the fuck out of here with that shit. Look at this. Turbans. 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 These are natives, man. The fucking natives, yo. With fucking turbans on their heads. Get out, man. What are you... What are you guys doing? What it look? Look. Native Americans invented basketball. Do you know that? Here's a couple of books you could read on it. Research it yourselves. Look. We invented Native Americans invented basketball. Michael Jordan my ass, man. You guys love basketball so much, you know. You know, us Negroes love basketball so much. Well, what the fuck? Look. Hockey, lacrosse, all these sports, man, football, all that shit. This is all natives, yo. <clears throat> oh, native never did shit for the back. Never did shit. Oh, yeah? Look. You know what else Native Americans is, is invented? Chocolate, gum, popcorn, hammocks, piñatas, masks. Right? Puerto Ricans popularized breakdancing, graffiti, and DJs. So you could thank the Puerto Ricans for that shit. DJs, you know? All you MCs and your graffiti artists and your breakdancing. Yeah, you could thank Puerto Ricans for that shit. You could thank natives for that. Rubber balls, rubber shoes, and color TV. Everyone loves TV so much, right? Well, go think a native. Mexicans popularized skateboarding and car hydraulics for lowriders. Yeah, all you people that love skateboarding so much and all you fucking lowrider G's and shit. Yeah, go think a Mexican. We, oh, I don't even know. I, I don't even know anymore, man. Like, I don't even know what to do for y'all anymore. Like, I... It's it's astonishing, man. And see, and then, oh, you know what? Uh, before I cut this off, I actually wanted to bring up a couple of video clips, um, for you all because uh, I, there's a couple more arguments that are some bullshit because they're like, oh, well, natives live on reservations, uh, you know, they have their own land and they have casinos and and they get rep uh, reparations and all this shit. Yeah, that's a bunch of bullshit. Bunch, a motherfucking bullshit, and I've got the proof for it. Uh, first off, let's get the fact that, uh, you know, talking about reservations and shit, right? Those are just modern-day concentration camps. Modern-day concentration camps. They concentrated them in one fucking area, and they have them all fucked up. Now, hold on. Now we're going to go to a, a show called Drawn Together. Uh, season 2, Episode 6. <clears throat> All right. Now we're gonna see something interesting. There's nothing better than finding a zit that's ready to be popped. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna go to two minutes and forty seconds. And we're gonna see something very interesting. Okay, you ready? Guys, we have to get rid of them before they kill us all. Everyone, calm down. Native Americans are a peaceful people. See, look. Just look at how they use every part of the animal. We screw them engines over. We live in our own land. We got to make things right. Well, maybe we could return a tiny, insignificant percentage of the land we stole. But not a good piece, right? No, 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 no. We're just going to give them the crappy piece in the far corner of the backyard. Daddy, does That's my guilt to genocide is easily remedied by small gestures of inadequate compensation. <laughs> <laughs> Look it. <laughs> notice, notice how they got the how they got the black girl, man. How they got the southern tribe to. Uh, she said that they. She said she was the only one that could interpret with the natives. I wonder why is that? Oh, is it because they're both Hebrews? Hmm. And then what did you hear them say? Oh, well, we'll give them back a portion of the land, but it's not going to be a good piece, right? He said, nah, we'll give them the piece in the back corner that's no good. Like, oh, that eases my conscience. And they're like, oh, yeah, you know, small gestures of, of uh, uh, you know, small nice gestures make up for the genocide and the, you know, the rape and all that shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Well, you know what? Let's keep going. This show is ridiculous if you guys have ever seen it. Look. And honor it just as our ancestors would have wanted. A casino! A gaudy mockery of their once great society. See? 
will build a casino. And what did he say? He said a bloody mockery of their once great society. <laughs> That's what casinos are. They don't own none of the money. They don't own the casinos. They don't own any of that shit. What the f- Are you guys stupid? You think that they'll let natives own money and get- <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, you guys even kicked up my asthma from laughing so much. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you, you guys are a riot. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna show you that they, uh, they even put it out in your, in your own, uh, cartoons and whatnot that that's a bunch of bullshit they don't own the casinos they don't own nothing in fact i live from a reservation next time i go past the reservation next time i drive through it i'm gonna record the shitty situation that they live in not only that you guys don't even know that amalekites actually live on the reservation too yep that's right they actually own and govern and manage the reservations and they're the ones that own and govern the casinos you know who are the people that go to the casinos? Are natives. Most of the people in the casinos are natives, bro. Gambling away whatever little uh, um, welfare check that they gave them. That's what those so-called reparations were. They're just giving them welfare check. They're like, oh, yeah, we'll just shut them up. It's a bunch of bullshit, man. It ain't, it ain't nothing. Hold on, Israel. I got to take my inhaler. I can't hear that. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm sorry, Israel. But, uh, you know, the struggle. Uh. Oh. Okay, I can breathe a little easier now. Um, shit. Okay, well, now that we're here, we'll just get the King of the Hill one right away. Okay. <clears throat> so this is King of the Hill. Know if y'all seen it or not, but um, Which they don't like each other. One of the only natives in here is John Redcorn. Okay, you guys ready? Look at what happens. This exchange is very deep, man. They're telling you what's really up, man. Check it. Brother Indian. Cool oh, website. First off, he said Brother Indian from the Game o uh, Tribal Gaming Association. So these are the guys that actually own everything. This guy right here. He said Brother Indian, right? Let's get that. Yes, and I hope you are enjoying your subscription to Gaming Nation. Exactly what kind of Indian are you? I'm 164th <laughs> Creek on my mother's side. So <laughs> actually, it's just right there, what kind of Indian... Even the Edomite ass. That's just so funny, man. He got, sniffed out, by the he got sniffed out by the Edomite, yo. He was like, "What exactly what type of Indian are you? And he's like, 164th Creek on my mother's side. Those are the fools that own the casinos. Those are the fools that run the res. Those are the ones that do all that shit. And you guys are just too fucking stupid to see it, aren't you? Temporary. To get our band going. Let's show him. <laughs> Look. They got him off wanting money and shit, right? But this is where it's at. Watch. This is where the drum solo usually goes. <laughs> With a sound like that, you're not going to need gaming for long. I completely get that. But we can accelerate the process. We are, after all, in the dream building business. You see, we're a one-stop shopping for everything casino. We can save you the hassles of dealing with the white man's loan offices by finding <laughs> our tribal development division. That means your band is making gold records that much faster. This pen has been used by many of our people to apply for financing. <laughs> <laughs> See this shit? See, this is, this is what goes down. This is how casinos get started, yo. Do I look like I know what a JPEG is? I just want a picture of a <laughs> Oh man, Key the Hills too much. Okay, let's get another one. Uh, we're going to 12 minutes and 45 seconds now. 
uh, so you can see what happens. So they shut them down now. So John okay, Ricard got his casino. Now. This is some kind of joke. We are shutting you down, sir. This is an illegal gaming establishment. But we're on Indian land. Look at me. Look at all the headdresses. <laughs> yes, sir. And that land is in Texas, where there is no Indian gaming. No oh. Indian gaming. But didn't you wonder why there weren't any other Indian casinos in Texas? I thought it would work to our advantage. Uh. See? Now that shows you, yeah, yeah, you know, it's Indian land, but the land is owned by the motherfucking Edomites, man. It's owned by the United States government, yo. They don't own that land. They don't get to do shit unless the Amalekites tell them what to do. And look at that. He's ashamed, man. Shame. Doesn't even know. Watch. Look, it gets worse. They're wheeling away our shoddy glory, just like they're wheeling away them shiny machines. Fudge cakes in a bad, bad way. Wait for it. Wait for it. But this is my land. I've already spent all the money I borrowed. How can this be happening? See, they have Texas to borrow money. Traded their federal gaming rights for state recognition of their tribes. Now, you can let the folks play for trinkets and cones and whatnot, but not for money. But that's incredibly lame. Well, yes, but legal. So right there, it shows you what. Yeah, it was his land. He had to borrow all kinds of money to get it. He had to do all kinds of shit. And like I said, those casinos, the one states that are allowed to have, because you remember, casinos were invented by the Amalekites. And I'm going to bring that out too. Casinos were invented by the Amalekites. And they started it in, in, you know, over there in uh, Atlantic City and then in Las Vegas and shit. So whatever natives, you know, are allowed, even a lot, because look, Texas, dude, casinos aren't even allowed in Texas native casinos so the even the places that do have native because we have native casinos over here in New Mexico but like I said they're not owned by them and you could fucking tell you could just see but anyways let's keep going <clears throat> look at he comes back again so he had hot damn Matt Blackjack congratulations sir very lucky Blackjack pays a stuffed lion how am I gonna stick this in a g-string <laughs> okay watch 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 show uh, this is a sad sad day the white man never stops putting you down the white Damn. man how could you not know there was no gaming in texas look the dream business is not extremely detail oriented anyway just stop by to give you a friendly reminder you still owe us twenty three thousand dollars i could sue you possibly but you'd spend years in the white man's courts fighting the white man's lawyers which we have a lot of instead i have a solution that's <laughs> Permit to allow toxic dumping. Yep. Unless you have another way to come up with the money. Oh, and that's and, uh, keep in mind your topsoil will become very flammable. And that's what's happened with the native reservations now. There, a lot of the land is used. It's it's no good. A lot of it's swamp land, and then whatever land is there, they have like all kinds of nasty shit on there. And nothing but it's. I'm telling you, man, it's a fucking mess. Um. Well, not only have I failed oh. as a musician, I'm gonna have to destroy my own land, my people's land. Come on, God. Yep, see? That's what it is. You're just destroying our own land, our people's land. Okay, I uh, just wanted to get one last uh, video clip. Hopefully I can knock it out before this damn tablet decides to fucking shut me off on time again. Um, hold on, give me a second, Israel. The last one we're going to is um, South Park. Good old South Park. Uh, we're going to season 15. <clears throat> episode shit 13 okay now this one is titled um a happy thing a history channel thanksgiving okay we're gonna go to seven minutes Mark is some kind of wormhole <laughs> oh this is so good Look. Who came here and made some kind of intergalactic treaty? Wow, check it out, dude. We're on TV. Look, look, look. Watch. How can they make a show out of this? I wasn't even a king. Again, with another Amalekite impersonator. Watch. What are you doing? Uh oh. The first Thanksgiving was a space treaty? Native Americans are aliens? I was just explaining how a negative argument doesn't make it. Haven't my people been through enough? God damn you! I do! The white man is gonna pay for his lies! <laughs> Oh my god. 
White man is gonna pay for his lies. Oh my god. That's... Okay, because I, I gotta go back. Watch. I'm sorry, I should have played this first. Look. One sixteenth, one sixteenth Cherokee Indian. They are Indian. mostly geared towards making the pilgrims look good and my people being degraded as usual. Was Thanksgiving about turkey and peace, or was it the beginning of the genocide of Mr. an entire Shield? race? Thanksgiving is about murder? 